Hi guys, I'm very glad to welcome you again on our channel. These are hottest news from crypto world. So be aware of all the latest information about cryptocurrencies together with me. Let's start. Bitcoin recovers from $45,000 why it may spend around $52,000. The Bitcoin price continued its decline and tested the support of $45,000 against the US dollar. Bitcoin suffered heavy losses below the $52,000 and $50,000 support levels. BTC even tested the $45,000 support zone and settled well below the 100-hour simple moving average. The low has formed around $44,960 and is currently recovering from losses. It corrected above the 46,500 and 48,000 resistance levels. There was a break above the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement level on the downside move from a swing high of 58,400 to a low of 44,960. He is currently testing the 50,000 resistance, but is still well below the 100-hour simple moving average. Also on the early chart of the BTC USD pair, a key bearish trend line is forming with resistance around 51,200. The first serious resistance is now forming around the $51,800 level. Ethereum recovers about $1,600, where ADH may retest $1,500. Ethereum continued to fall below $1,500 against the US dollar. Ethereum was unable to hold above the $1,600 and $1,500 support levels. EDH even extended its fall below the $1,450 support level and settled well below the 100-hour simple moving average similar to Bitcoin. There was also a jump below the $1,400 level and the price traded up to $1,357. Price is currently correcting losses and trading above the $1,500. There was a break above the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the recent decline from the swing high of $1,804 to a swing low of $1,357. Ethereum is currently trading slightly above the $1,600 level but still well below the 100-hour simple moving average. Also on the hourly ETH USD chart, a major bearish trend line is forming with resistance around $1,630. Square Invest another $170 million in Bitcoin as a wave of institutional support floats crypto. Square optimized Bitcoin's temporary plunge and bought back more digital assets with roughly 3.318 Bitcoins. According to Square's Quarter 4 report, Square's total treasury reserve is now 5% dedicated to Bitcoin. According to Square's fourth quarter report, the company has already raised $1.76 billion from Bitcoin transactions that occurred in the last quarter of 2020. That means a thousand percent increase over the fourth quarter of the previous year as the price of Bitcoin surged from 10,500 to 28,600 in just the fourth quarter. In the last quarter of 2020, Square reported $987 million in revenue from its merchant business and 2.17 from its cash app, which allows users to send peer-to-peer -peer payments and trade stocks and bitcoins. More than 4 million customers are reported to have used the Square Cash app to trade bitcoin in 2020, significantly more than in previous years as the demand for bitcoin continues to grow. Cardano stays strong about 100 SMA, why it might rise again. Cardano's price hit a new multi-month high of $1.23 before correcting lower. In the past few days, the price of Cardano has started to rise steadily above the $0.95 resistance. The price even tested the $0.85 support level, but there was no close below the 100 simple moving average. The low is formed around $0.80 and the price is currently retracing. It rallied above the 50% Fibonacci retracement of its recent decline from a $1.23 high to a $0.80 low. Also on the 4-hour chart of the ADA USD pair, a critical bullish trend line is forming with support near $0.85. The price is now showing many positive signs above the $0.95 level. XRP prepares for a massive jump to $0.65 as technical improvements. Ripple is recovering from support at $0.37, 
all focus is now $0.65 in the short term. Ahead of the ongoing rebound, the cross-border cryptocurrency sat support at $0.37. A large crowd of buyers at this level set the stage for growth about 0.4 and 200 SMA. XRP is currently hovering at 0.49 after stepping over the 50% Fibonacci retracement level taken between the last swing high of 0.66 and the low of 0.36. A comprehensive lookup shows that Ripple bulls are looking forward to breaking the confluence resistance of around 0.52 formed by the 61.8 FIBO, 100 SMA and 50 SMA on the 4-hour chart. Bullish narrative narratives have been reinforced by the relative strength index at its moves toward the center line. A break about 50 will encourage more buyers to join or increase their positions in the initial money transfer token. Publicly traded crypto firms continue to plunge after losing $1 billion in market cap. Shares of U.S. registered cryptocurrency mining companies and minor manufacturers have followed the downward movement of Bitcoin. In total, companies lost about $1 billion in their market capitalization. Bitcoin mining companies Marathon Patent Group, Riot Blockchain and Hive Blockchain closed on February 22nd with share price declines of 14.24%, 9.21% and 7.6% respectively, according to the data dashboard. Meanwhile, shares of Chinese Bitcoin mining hardware makers Canan and eBank, both listed on the Nasdaq, fell 15.89% and 23.96% respectively. During the February 23rd session, these firms were not doing much better. Marathon shares fell 22%, while Riot and Hive were down 24 and 18% respectively. Charles Hoskinson announces significant updates for Cardano as price tries to recover. While the ADA price is aiming to recover from the sharp drop, the Cardano founder hinted at upcoming products and viral network updates. The decentralized open source project that powers the public blockchain smart contract platform Cardano plans to implement several significant updates in the next few months. During a recent interview, project founder Charles Hoskinson also noted that the Cardano is in talks about potential partnership with many industry companies such as Celius, Fireblocks and Prime Trust. The 33-year-old Ethereum co-founder spoke about the upcoming plans for his current project during an interview with Financial. Financial Fox. While he was unable to provide more accurate information on what comes next, he said the network will see a lot of smart contracts in the next three months. USDT drops to 2% RMB markup amid falling Bitcoin price. The USD RMB exchange rate has now changed to a 2% markup over the USD RMB exchange rate. After the discount remained for several months, the US dollar RMB exchange rate moved to a higher level than the US dollar exchange rate. Industry players say this indicates a short-term short gauge of USDT as the price of Bitcoin briefly dropped below $47,000 on February 23 and over $5 billion worth of cryptocurrency derivatives positions have been liquidated in the last 24 hours. OTC cryptocurrency traders on major exchanges serving Chinese investors including Huobi, OKX and Binance as well as secondary exchanges such as Gate.io are now placing orders and asking for USDT at around RMB 6.59 apiece. Meanwhile, according to major Chinese commercial banks, the grounded exchange rate for US $1 is about 6.45 yuan. This means that USDT is trading on the OTC tables in China at a premium of over 2%, up 0.3% on February 22nd morning Chinese time. State Bank of India subscribes to GP Morgan Link Blockchain Solution. The State Bank of India has partnered with banking giant GP Morgan to leverage American banks' link blockchain technology. The Economic Times reported that the State Bank of India has joined the GP Morgan Blockchain Payment Network four months after GP Morgan announced the Link update. Link provides commercial solutions for bank and corporate users that aim to change the movement of money. This technology uses the institutional-grade Onyx blockchain platform with unlimited scalability. 
Lean currently has 352 member banks and corporations, with SBI being the first Indian bank to join the network. Formerly known as the Interbank Information Network, Link uses secure stock registries that streamline the flow of payment information by making it easier to exchange information to ensure secure peer-to-peer -peer data transfers. So guys, these are all news for today. Thank you for your attention and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Hope to see you soon. Bye.